Hey there Mission Control. Well in this video we're going to start getting the 3D printer all set up. First thing we got to do is lay it all out. As you can see, when I said big, I meant it was big. It's going to take us a little while to put this all together, but I'm really excited to do it. We are going to start unboxing the Modix 120 uh, version 3 printer. Now this is a procurement. This is not a sponsorship. Uh, Eating Grow Systems bought this. Uh, I'm part of Eating Grow Systems and uh, we're using it because we sent out all of our uh, quotes for builds uh, for prototypes and they all came back extremely expensive. Uh, far more than we were anticipating. Measured in hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, it's cheaper to buy this printer and print them ourselves since they are prototypes and then worry about raising the money in our Series A. So what we need to do is uh, get this printer uh, all unboxed, get everything laid out here on the nice clean shop floor. I looked online for quite a few hours trying to find different or the large scale 3D printers that we need. I have a Creole 3DS which is a uh, what is it, 12 inch by 12 inch print capability. Uh, that's really big uh, but we need uh, two feet that's that's 24 inches uh, that we need to be able to print is that one two-thirds of a meter uh, so everything looks really well packaged here so through all my searching this Modix uh, it's a Israeli based company uh, and they seem to have the best uh, product out there that I could find at a really good price uh, less than ten thousand dollars for a large-scale 3d printer like this I know some of you right now are, are gasping um, but remember we're comparing that to hundreds of thousands of dollars right so it's, uh, it, it, it's a pretty big deal to find something at this price point everything appears to be uh, labeled here so far When you buy it, they're supposed to give you a username and password. They just haven't sent it to me yet, uh, so that you can log on to their support site where they have their um, manuals at, all digital, with a whole bunch of videos. Looks like it's going to be, as far as instructions, some of the best I've ever seen. You get an idea of how big this printer is yet? This thing's huge. Uh, it's almost six feet long by uh, almost three feet wide, about four feet tall. Close. I'm rounding up here. It's so big that we actually have to put a platform on top of the benches that we put back there uh, so that it can all be supported. This thing is really big. Well, it's been uh, a full day's worth of work here. Uh, it took us a while to get everything unboxed, get it all sorted, laid out, kind of figure out the lay of the land. Then we had to get the instructions uh, from support, uh, Modic support, um, they got me my password and logged in and the instructions are fantastic. Uh, I mean, they're really, really well written, very good sequence. Uh, they have video and text. So um, it's really great. The packaging on this has been superior to any I've seen before. Um, I'm not 3D printer packaging, just packaging in general. It's just superior. Every part is packaged individually, protected and uh, I think everything that is small is all labeled. Uh, so there's no guessing, uh, having to get your measuring tape out and measure. That is one issue uh, that I noticed. All the uh, measurements, of course, are in metric, uh, and I don't have a metric uh, tape measure. So some of these things we've had to convert to uh, uh, Imperial so that I can get figure out what piece is what. But you can see this thing is coming together. Uh, we've got the main structure together. Uh, we've got uh, some of the uh, bearings and holders for those bearings all in place. The guides are all here, uh, ready to be put together. We've got the outer frame in, some of the motors in, working on the axis controls. Let me go show you all the parts we still have remaining. Okay, here we go. We got all these cross members. Bed heater one, bed heater two, control power unit. A whole bunch of fittings right there. 
and a whole lot more stuff. Oh, and there's <clears throat> beds under there too, and glass. We got glass all the way over there. There's more. This is just everywhere. There's stuff everywhere for this thing. So. just got all the wiring connected and all the cables tucked away nicely per the instructions. And we're actually at the point where we can power this bad boy on. I am going to put the, uh, we need to go through the power on steps first. I, I really want to put the enclosure on first, but go through the power on steps and there's Wi-Fi connection and everything that we need to do. What we're doing right now is we're looking at the web interface to the printer. It's very professional. Everything about this thing is really, really professional. Uh, its packaging was very professional. The components, everything, it, it's very sturdy, they're very strong. It's not cheap plastic. They're good parts. You can feel it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You can feel the good parts. What we're doing right now is going through the startup process and getting everything calibrated. And uh, Everything is going pretty good so far. I'm having just a slight problem with the X axis, which is the longitudinal axis, getting it home correctly. So I shot off an email to support. They've been responding within 24 hours, so that's pretty darn good. Right now, what I'm working on is uh, getting the uh, bed compensation. Because it's such a large bed, what it does is it goes through and it takes a measurement, apparently hundreds of measurements. And they have a series of macros all set up here. So we're going to execute the bed compensation macro. We're up to 64 Celsius on the bed, which is where they want it at. And now it's going to go through 
and start compensating, uh, measuring the bed. So let's go check that out. It's going through, I think it's like over 200 some on points that it's gonna collect on the, uh, the deck here. The reason for this is because it is so big, you can get heat warpage and everything. Uh, so it actually is calculating and compensating for that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that all works, but that's what it, why it's doing this is to know where the bed's at and be able to compensate for things. Um, boy, as far as the assembly goes, I mean, it has been a long five days. There's no doubt about that. And there are thousands of parts that go into this, but I'm really happy with how it came out. And all you have to do is follow their instructions. I mean, some of this stuff is kind of uh, intimidating when you get to it really but uh, you get into it and you just start doing one piece at a time and follow their instructions they got good videos when videos are prudent uh, they have good written written instructions uh, everything like I said feels very professional very strong very sturdy very happy with how it all turned out how it looks um, we'll see how it performs I anticipate that any issue that there is with it will be my fault <laughs> As far as machines go, the cost of this machine is under $10,000. And that is just unheard of for this size. So Modix has got a good thing going on here for uh, an affordable uh, production quality, large scale printer. You know, the normal person's not gonna go buy one of these. I mean, I mean, if you had the money, I mean, it would be way cool to have in your workshop. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but we're buying it because of the cost associated with uh, getting our prototyping done. This is just far more cost efficient uh, for what we need to do, especially when we need to make changes and stuff like that. There's no point in tooling up. Uh, somebody pointed out uh, vacuum uh, plastics, and I'm going to be checking that out because that is one manufacturing method I did not look at, but I'll be uh, getting that figured out. We've obviously made our commitment here to the prototype, so we'll be doing this for that, but for our production, uh, going with some form of vacuum plastics uh, might be the way to go. Uh, boy, you know, I, I can't really think of anything negative uh, to say, uh, other than it just takes forever to put it all together, but that's because they're saving shipping costs, which goes to customer. I had a problem with Wi-Fi connecting it, but I just plugged the computer into it, and uh, I had the computer, you know, talk to the hard drive and get it all figured out, and uh, they, they worked out their problems. So we're connected to Wi-Fi. I can control this from any computer on the network, send it files, uh, very, very nice. Um, kept hitting my head after I got it assembled. Uh, got a bunch of spare parts, uh, not in a bad way, just they sent spare parts. So, you know, if something goes wrong, you, they, you don't have to go down the hardware store and try to find something special or order it from them. They, they sent you quite a few spare parts to, to hang out or to hold on to, excuse me. I mean, I, I'm excited to, to see some prints off of this. So uh, if you've been following along on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts, you, you've kind of been seeing this thing coming, but if you're new to YouTube, you can follow us there. If you'd like to support what we're doing, you can do so through Patreon. We really appreciate that. But well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, that's the assembly video. We're gonna get into printing and uh, getting prototypes off of this thing in the next coming days. So it's gonna be very exciting to see. So stick with us and follow us.